this is the code which we used and uh, in the recently we submitted a paper at iccv workshops along with uh, professor ramkrishna gorthi uh, who discuss, who is a keynote speaker in yesterday's lecture so the same paper we will take it as a reference and the same we will implement it the, the code we will explain okay hope you are able to see the screen and able to follow right uh okay so same thing so we know what actually transformer is so this is the transformer are you uh, can you please respond uh, is it clear are you able, uh, are you able to hear me and able to see the screen yes. so this is, this is the typical um, transformer so the major part of transformer so this is the um, uh, how a transformer looks like okay so this is the input so this is for 1d you have seen for 2d uh, vision based uh, transformers or nlp based transformers here i want to show you for numerical data like uh, like this the one cross 100 data okay so how we can run the transformer okay so this is the data we have okay so for each user we have two data one is is real signature this one is fake signature real signature fake signature for user two you forget about that this is a numerical data each sample each row is different to others so on this one dimensional data how we can run the transformer is whatever work okay so this is how it looks so one cross hundred what is one cross hundred this is the one each row is of size one cross hundred okay so yeah so this is what one cross hundred see here count 100 okay so the same we given here as we discussed two things we need to add main thing is time embedding so we need to uh, add the time so where we are adding the time so uh, we, i will show it here the same data i populated means into the collab so see here so time linear okay so this is what the time linear and time periodic we are adding okay see this one okay so this is the data we have and we are adding two more layers what is that the time embedding layer and the positional embedding okay so by adding these three one is input signature second one is the time embedding and positional embedding so it became a three layer data now what we can do is we can feed the data to uh, encoder okay and also we have a separate path that's what a convolution block okay so same here also if you see so what we are doing here this is a transformer encoder okay so this is a creating model so what we are doing this is the first data point the time to vector so whatever data we have we are embedding into we are performing the time embedding so we got the data and then what we are doing we are creating three attention layers by calling the transformer encoder so here is what the transformer encoder within that we have three attention layers okay so we have three attention layers okay so first what we are doing we are taking the data sequential length what is sequential length 100 that is input data and then i am performing time embedding so and then i am concatenating the uh, input data plus time embedding data that's what we have shown here time embedding where is that uh, time embedding plus input signature it become 100 cross 3 now what happens this 100 cross 3 we are passing to first attention layer second attention layer third attention layer that means the input we are replicating three times and we are passing it to the attention layer whatever is the output from first attention goes through a second attention output from second attention goes through third attention same here also so the output to attention layer then we feed it to next attention then we feed it to next attention next it will go to global average pooling layer 
so next it goes to global average pooling layer okay then what we are doing is uh, then what we are doing we are using a dropout a dense layer and the final layer okay so dropout layer dense layer okay so this is how we are performing creating the uh, model okay so okay now what about the uh, attention layer this one attention layer the encoder part so this is the second second part transformer encoder which replicates this particular block so what actually we are doing here we have single attention layers sorry self attention layers we have up to it's a parameter we set it as a 12 so where we said that before starting the code we set that to 12 number of number of self attention heads equal to 12 so it is equal to 12 so we uh, we will pass the data to attention layers so where is the transformer encoder so if you go there this is self attention block single self attention block okay so where is the multi attention this is the multi attention so multi attention what we will do for n in range of self dot n heads okay there are heads what we are doing we are appending what we are appending the output from the self attention key and value pair so what is a self at single attention so singular self attention is what is this one so here it will go through query uh, query key value see here query key value and then we will get the attention weights all these things so same we performed here the self attention in the in the uh, self attention okay so self attention i have shown here see this is what the main thing self attention and then combination of self attention is a multi head attention this multi attention block is part of the encoder decoder network and this uh, this encoder network is a part of the overall uh, transformer network so what happens here see what uh, what happens in case of uh, this one is uh, what we uh, shown here q value key value and value will come then what we are doing first we are multiplying the q comma k and transpose that that's what we are getting the attention weights see here first q value then key value key value transpose where is the transpose here is the transpose and then we got the attention weights and those attention weights what we are doing we are computing the square root of this one this uh once we compute, so this is what we are comparing. We are scaling, uh, scaling softmax we are performing. Okay, see here, uh, square root of self uh, this value, square root of this one, uh, this one. And then what we are doing is we are getting the output. Then softmax we are getting the attention weights. We are applying the softmax. Where is the softmax function? Here, uh, here is the softmax function. So we apply the softmax okay so this is the softmax we got the attention weights then what we are doing these attention weights we are multiplying with the v value what is v value value this is value okay so the softmax output and the value output we are performing the matrix multiplication okay so we are performing the matrix multiplication that's what we are getting is attention output that attention output we are passing it to the this one this attention output of size 100 comma 256 is what the 100 comma 256 is the size of each uh, encoder self attention output like that we have we have 12 attention outputs so if i add that it will become 3072 so which is a um, like if i if i if i come to this multi attention part see i will get all the information then what the, the problem is if um, uh, the number of heads increases this particular value increases so while passing to the next block what we are doing is we passed through this fn network so fn network we restricted to only three so 100 cross 100 comma 3072 we are restricted we are reducing it to only 100 comma 3 and then we are passing to the uh, normalization layer c then uh, see we are passing once we got the multi attention output we are passing it to the dropout layer normalization. Okay, once we got it, dropout normalization layer. So here also we got dropout normalization. Then we have two convolutions. Okay, then the output passing through convolution layers. 
okay so in this part you can use either convolution layer or a dense layer so that is the alternative but we have used the convolution layers after that dropout and normalization layer after that dropout and normalization layer that is what the output from the output from the uh, single uh, transformer encoder this particular block okay so once it comes out okay so this is the build part okay so we are uh, this is the transformer encoder output okay so we should receive all the things next what we are doing is so this is the uh, transformer encoder part and this is the uh, multi attention part and this is the single attention part okay so now what we are doing is we are creating the model so how we are creating the model first we are taking the time to vector and then transformer mm -hmm. encoder transformer these three transformer encoders which is equal to this one okay and then what we are doing is input shape time embedding concatenation attention one attention two attention three then global average cooling okay so global average cooling we are doing and then output from these convolution blocks global average cooling concatenation then we got the dense layer dropout and finally two class classification see dropout dense layer then two class either real or forgery so this is what the structure of a transformer which contains the uh, transformer encoder this encoder block is this one here what is the major part self attention or single attention this attention we shown it here which is a combination of which will take care of q value key value and the value so based upon this q k v it will output the self attention so like this 100 comma 256 we have 12 heads so 256 into 12 but 100 comma 372 it's a high number so we want to reduce it so we go, we sent through fffn okay so fully net um, feed forward network so here what happens uh, we, you can try and experiment the number of nodes so that it will uh, you can after that we pass it to the structure so this is how the code of the transformer and the main part is self attention so this is how we uh, computed and uh, we structured we, we cross checked every output value here so if i explain one more time so main thing is time to vector where we uh, convert um, the time values the input into a vector form okay so all these things we will perform but like uh, combining with input this particular part okay so this particular part we are performing here so once that is done single attention is coming into picture and then where we are performing q k and v based attention computing task and then what we are doing multi attention so multi attention is a combination of single attention so single attention it needs uh, kv so once that is done okay we are we are for, uh, we are getting the output that is output from the multi linear so transformer overall transformer is a combination of multi attention this is one 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 block multi multi attention okay i uh, i will share you sir uh, okay so this is multi attention and then this convo 2d this convo 2d equal to this convo 2d so parallelly passing through transformer encoder and passing through the convolution block same thing that's it these two are convolution block. These are the multi multi one. Then we are using normalization layer. So we are using the normalization layer global average computation. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is how we will uh, work with the transformer in case of one dimensional data like finance data, which you can put it in a single row. Means data sample if it is of single row, we call it as a one D. That's why we are using convo one D here. Convo 1D is one dimensional data, numerical data. So we are using this and we are performing. So, how, where we are using this, see here. So, while computing the model, I'm calling this function create model. So, for my model, the data, my online signature data, I am feeding in the transformer, which we discussed. Then, these are all same. So, getting the data, 
getting the data, how you are structuring per user. This is specific to my application. So I need a model. For that model, I use the, I, I'm calling the create model. So when we call create model, this is the function. So here, the high level function encoders. Okay, encoder encoders it will perform this one. Okay, this this complete this one. And inside what we are doing, we are calling transformer encoders. That that means this one transformers encoders. Okay, and then what we are doing within the transformer encoder, if you go inside, okay, so here we are calling multi attention and convo 2D. This convo 2D equal to this convo 2D, multi attention convo 2D. Okay, so this is how we will structure the data so that we can get a uh, transformer uh, structure and that transformer we are good we trained it okay i think it is running okay so we can run i kept 100, 100 epochs okay and uh, the same thing uh, these parameters so what is the batch size learning rate okay all those things i set it here adam learning rate okay so mm -hmm. like that i set and then i can run the model and note down the accuracy <laughs> so slowly it will increase this is one shot learning one shot learning means i have taken only one real sample one fake sample per user and i'm trying to train the transformer okay so using one shot learning and a transformer network how we can classify the signature is what the work so this is what we have done uh, in our work uh, which is accepted in recent uh, iccv workshop okay where we used the transformer network and this is this one and able to this is the after that once the model is ready we are feeding it to the model okay so yeah this is the work Okay, if you want to uh, increase the font size. Okay, so this is the font, uh, this is the one. So let it run. So yeah, so this is how we can use a transformer at higher level. These are the imports. These are the uh, required imports and batch size, sequential length. What is the length of my data? 100. Why? Because the row, the number of columns is 100 and then this uh, k value uh, what's the length of k value okay and how many number of heads we are using okay so we set these values okay so i am reading the data and at higher level i am just converting into adjusting these um, uh, values like um, adding a time vector and the uh, this one this one okay making it time embedding i'm adding the time time embedding so mm -hmm. that is what happening here time linear time periodic okay so this is what happening here after that uh, <laughs> after that and we are defining single attention class qk q query key value and then we are calling it okay so query value mat multiplication softmax so it will implement the this values max multiplication etc okay and then multi attention so multi attention means this side we are going to this side okay so here we have so here we uh, in the multi attention we have uh, number of times number of head times we are computing the single attention and then we are passing it to a dense layer okay. so okay this is the encoder part and all these things all these things we, we are using in new definition to create a single model that is this one okay so we are calling uh, encoders okay all this same time embedding concatenate attention one attention to global average pooling and finally we are getting the data this model i am feeding once i get the model i am feeding in the data so this is how 
once the model is ready i am feeding in the input signature and this is how it works okay so uh, okay so it is it has to increase because i'm using only one sample learning for one sample is not uh, it's not possible for uh, deep learning models okay so we are trying to improve the accuracy in the next works so any doubts Uh, Dr. Chandrasekhar, why are you using convolution uh, when you have this uh, 100 uh, time series data of 100 uh, sequence, right? Hmm. Where? So it means I am assuming that you have 100 real numbers with you. Yes. yes, yes. Uh, yeah, can you like um, uh, if you consider this as a sequence and every real number as a token input to the BERT encoder? Uh, no, 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 no. See, this is BERT is different. So it, you are using a, a transformer uh, wherein uh, this is you... not a pre trained model, this is nowhere related to NLP. Mm, okay, fine. There is no but concept, there is no BLUU metric here. We taken the architecture, we mm. developed a transformer for mm. 1D data, numerical data. 2D, we have an image. So, this is a uh, width model, vision, vision transformer. From mm. vision transformer, we developed a 1D transformer that is mm. numerical data. So, here, nowhere like uh, BERT or pre training or BLU matrix. This is training from the scratch and we are developing the model to classify the signature. Good. Uh, then why do you call it vision transformer? You have one dimensional real number. No, no. I, am, I just told you it's a, it's a inspired from vision transformer 2D. Okay. We made it 1D. Okay. Okay. Nice. So this is nowhere related to NLP based models. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, so with your uh, convolution, uh, how many features do you have now from these see, 100? Ah, see, features we extracted. We okay. extracted these features one across 100, and we are giving it to the model. So model is trying to perform the Q, K, V computations, attention computation from these. And those attentions also uh, we are capturing here, OK, these attentions. OK, uh, see, these are the attentions learned by the model. At various layers, we can pass and we can check what is the intensity of the attentions learned by uh, this uh, 100, 1 cross 100 features. Uh, my question is, after convolution, uh, what is the size of the vector? Is it okay. still? See, these are the size. Here we mentioned after convolution, we are getting 100, 32. And from this part, we are getting 100 comma 3. So we are performing global average pooling. So it is becoming 132 here. Yes. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Yeah. So here we are using 3. So dropout convolution and all. Finally, we are getting 100 comma 3. Output here is 100 comma 3. From each uh, uh, this one, multi multi attention attention layer. Okay. See. This is the 100 comma 3, which is equal to this 100 comma 3. So any doubts? Same thing, whatever we discussed yesterday by Professor C. Chandrasekhar, uh, Ahuja, and now, same thing, whatever the image says, line by line, we have implemented. But instead of using the 2D architecture, instead of using 2D architecture for the image, our data is numerical data. Let it be sensor data or whatever it may be. This is numeric data, each sample. So for this, we developed the 2D, uh, 1D uh, dimension network. OK, so I will share the code. Uh, and uh, because this is the data, OK, let me share. 
so that you can try and you can run okay uh, so share the data okay so i shared to sir so you can data set also i will uh, i will send it here okay so this is the data you can run okay so then you can uh, you can check which are all the places you can try you can change the convolution to this alternative instead of convolution block you can use a dense block here also instead of convolution block you can use a dense block so these are the alternatives you can use like that you can play you can play it increasing the number of heads increasing the size this is size everything you can try and you can improve it. so any any doubts and in the gan as the code which i shared in the gan uh, yeah winning stun please what is the doubt Oh, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, uh, will this be relevant to uh, will this be relevant to learning from graph data? Learning graph. So, will that? Uh, can you please repeat? Is there any uh, chance that it can be customized for learning from graph data, especially uh, a very restricted graph like bunch filter graph? See, graph uh, data, I'm not sure, so I cannot comment on it. I worked okay, on 1D data, 2D data. Like an image, yes, uh, we can work. For 1D data, okay. we developed it. And we can work right. on graph. How you will uh, showcase the graph here? So I'm not I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, any doubts uh, are our reply uh, uh, for time, friends. Any doubts? No, sir, it's clear. Okay, so I have shared the screen uh, code. Uh, you, try, you try to analyze the image. The architecture remains same. Okay. okay. Transformer architecture remains same. Here you have to you can play number of layers. You can increase. Okay. So like that you can play and you can cross check. You can uh, what is attention? You can plot the attention. Then you will come to know the uh, how how the attention varies. So everything you can try. Okay. So if no doubts, then I will sign off. Thank you. If possible, we can meet on Saturday. Okay.